Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math List Zone. Today, we are going to be finding the domain and range and x-intercepts and y-intercepts of some graphs. So let's get into it. So here we have some graphs. Um, and graphs for domain and range can be very obscure if it's already graphed for you. And domain is quite literally the x values, whereas range is the y values. So when we're talking about domain, we're looking at the left and the right side. And you're going to look and you're going to be like, where does it start and where does it end on the left and the right side of the graph? And some of them will go on forever. If it has an arrow, it goes on forever. In this case, the domain, which is the x values, or the left and the right values, start at negative 2, because that is the x value in which this graph begins. And then it goes to the right to positive values, and then to infinity, because this arrow. So you can write x is greater than or equal to negative 2 because it's going to the right from there and it was a filled in dot filled in dot means greater than or equal to equal to being the key word there for the filled in dot you could also write with a bracket negative 2 comma positive infinity and then a parentheses around the positive infinity because you can never actually equal positive infinity, but you can equal, and where we were supposed to equal, the negative 2, which is why it had the bracket. Let's talk about the range, though. The range is the y values, the up and down values. So the up and down values, it started way down here. That's the lowest y value at 4. And then it went up until it reached 2 at this point. I believe that's 2, up by 1, 2. But on the other side, it went up further. So even though it stopped going up on the left, it went up further and kept going up on the right side. So it would go to infinity there as well. So it's greater than or equal to this y value, which is at negative 4. Which, of course, you could write negative 4 to positive infinity as well. All right? So that's the first part of the lesson. But I also want to double dip and also talk about x and y intercepts. So if you were, took, uh, if you were talking about the x intercepts, there are, in fact, two of them here and here. So we're talking about the key features of a graph. X-intercepts and domain and range and Y-intercepts, those are huge ones. So X-intercepts would be, it looks like negative, I'm going to do it up top, X-intercept are at negative 1.5 and, and, what does that look like to you? 5.5? And where does it cross the y-axis would be the y-intercept. This right here is the y-intercept, which is at negative 2 and a 5. Negative 2.5 would be negative 2.5. Okay? So, domain and range, x and y-intercepts. We're going to do a few more until we get the hang of it. And we're going to just keep on rolling. So here, we are looking at the domain first, which is the x values. And again, the x values start on the left. And then end on the right with a going up forever. Okay? So that means that it is starting at, again, negative 2. Because look at the, the, the increment here. It's counting by 2s. They're kind of rude like that. They went by 2s instead of 1. So it is from and includes negative 2 and goes to positive infinity. Which I'm going to use this set notation from here on out. Because that is what you will be using in higher level math. What about the range? Well, the range started here at... 1, it only counted up and down by 1s, and also it started down there at 1. So apparently it started bottom out, bottomed out at 1 in both cases, but it did go up forever. So 1, 2, infinity. And I'm going to see if I can squeeze the x-intercept and the y-intercepts right here and here. Not that they have anything to do with domain and range, but again, domain is the x-value, so kind of convenient. Does it have any x-intercepts? Well, no. Look at it. It doesn't ever cross this x line, so you don't have any. You can write na, or none, or empty set, or a lot of different, no solution perhaps. The y-intercept looks like it's just a hair over 3. We don't know exactly what it is, but I'm going to say 3.25. It doesn't look like it's quite at 3.5. All right? So let's move on. What about this one over here? 
Well, this one is going kind of up, not up from left to right, but it is going to positive values in the y direction. But what about the x direction? Well, in the x's, if you think about the left right, on the left hand side, it looks like it's going to continue to just venture off into the to the left, maybe slower, but it is going to start and incorporate all the negative values for x. But it is stopping here at 4, and you can kind of see that's a hollow circle. It's not filled in like these other ones were. So it's going to be from negative infinity up into, uh, that's a 4. They're not counting by 1s here. So up into 4, and I'm going to put a bracket around that because it doesn't equal the 4. I don't know why I said bracket. That's a parenthesis. You could also write this as x is less than, not equal to, 4. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the range? Well, the range is still going up because there, there's a lot of positive y values here. Here, that looks like positive 5, and then it just keeps on going up, and you could it, they get bigger and bigger and bigger in the y department. So the y values are actually, even though it's on the left side of the graph, going up. From what, though? They come up from this y value, which is at negative 16 right here which conveniently looks like it's almost the y-intercept too. We'll probably call it that. So it is going up from negative 16 to positive infinity. It looks like it cannot include the negative 16 because of the hollow circle, and it is still going up. So what are the x-intercepts or x-intercept in this case? It looks like it is very clearly around 32, negative 32 for the x-intercept. And the y-intercept is really, really close to 16. I'm going to say negative 15.9. It's not accurate. That's not the point of this. We're just trying to get close. Okay? So this is going to be part of a series of figuring out the key parts of a graph. This one was domain, range, and x and y-intercepts. We are also going to have to deal with increasing and decreasing and asymptotes and all sorts of other things. So please be sure to stay tuned and make sure you get everything you need to be successful. See you next